So I just pulled one potato plant, and it was a little tiny red potato, that big. Um, the worms are decimating my big bit. I did get a nice little cluster of tomatoes. There's tomatoes everywhere out here. Let me see if I, I have just been washing them and freezing them because I have gotten so many. There's also I think I'm going to take some of this kale in the house for breakfast. Let me see if I can also my peas let me see if you can focus my black eyed peas are doing well over there and I'm just waiting for them to dry out so if you guys remember I just got black eyed peas that I bought from the store dried peas and I just planted them in there I planted some yellow wax beans and some black eyed peas in there so so far so good the black eyed peas seem to be doing well and my poor melon is deader than a doorknob look at it so I'm gonna pull that up here it's funny because they say mullen doesn't flower until the second year. And when that grew, it just grew and, and it flowered. So it must have been here already. So I don't know. <laughs> but it was never in this spot. <clears throat> it seemed like when I um kind of let this part of the garden go for a little bit, that all kind of stuff was coming up. You know, I had... There's horse apple things coming up. I got hazelnut trees coming up in here. Um, that mullein came up. Um, you know, dandelion. All my um, my bunching onions came back. So that turned out to be pretty good. But I got beans over here to the trellis. Um, I didn't think any of this okra was going to make it, but it did, and I'm excited because. It's actually starting to get okras on it. I don't know what's going on with these pepper plants. This one is just now flowering. It's it's mid it's mid August. Um, I got a teeny tiny pepper off of that one, and I don't know what's going on with them. So, um, what I want to do is harvest as many of these cherry tomatoes as I can and then water the garden because that's something that I haven't done in days but I gotta go get a basket or a ziplock or something to put these cherry tomatoes in ah, that spider web wasn't there when I first came come on and close that gate I'll be off to feed you in a minute. Little bitty. Hen and bitty. So. <laughs> Leaving them locked up is the best thing that happens. They start crowing later. Which is good. So hang on. Got my colander. Yesterday our kitten got out. And that little bad guy was gone all day until yesterday night after midnight. And it's a good thing that I was up when Sharena, well, Sharena was just getting home from her little, from her friend's house. And um, I called her and I was like, hey, she's like, hey, I'm just leaving my friend's house. I'm like, well, Chato hasn't been home all day. And, um, I told her, I'm like, I'm sad, I'm bummed out because he's so little that whatever's eating the chickens might might get him. So I need to, you know, I wanted him to come home. So he came home. His old bad self. Now he's fighting to get back out the door. I'm like, Shadow, you cannot come out here, man. <laughs> these are these cherry tomatoes and these Roma tomatoes. The Roma tomatoes actually did really good. They take forever to um, to ripen. They took forever to ripen it this year. And I don't know what that's all about. I will be 
I will be cutting these tomato plants out because they are doing horribly now. It's time for them to go. It's a weird angle, sorry. But I need two hands to get all these tomatoes. I haven't... My granddaughter came outside with me the other day and harvested a bunch of tomatoes with me. So, these are the ones that weren't quite red enough at that time. They're a little better now. And there's still a ton that's not super red. I see. Try not to break these branches okay because it's like the top of them have red but if you break the branch off then you get a whole cluster that's not red these things look so pitiful <laughs> and they look so pitiful but I think these dead and dying leaves actually may have saved my tomatoes, my um, little ripe tomatoes, because the birds have not been able to see them, I think. I'm going to move every tomato that comes in here next year. I'm not going to, I'm not going to put um, cherry tomatoes here next year. There's going to be a ton that comes back, for sure. For sure. Somebody's eating on this one. I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. This thing broke. So yeah, for sure I'm going to have a ton of cherry, uh, cherry tomatoes coming back here next year. But I'm not going to let them grow here. I think I'm going to try something else here because I've done... Is this my second year doing tomatoes here? I think so. Yeah, this is my second year doing tomatoes here. So I'm not going to do them here next year. And I want to get my collards planted. It's so late. I don't know if it's too late. I don't know. So I might. Maybe I'll just start them in the house. And see if I can get starts planted out. I might. I might do that. I don't have too much space in the house to do things like that. That's why I don't. And then I have little people who mess with everything. Babies mess with everything. Don't do it. They're funny. <laughs> peppers, look at my. So there's a couple here. So I'm gonna take the big ones. I got two big ones that can go. I'm gonna let that one grow a little bit more. Oh. <sighs> I'm excited about being able to harvest a little something. I don't want these to crack, so I gotta, it's already cracking. I'll just share. When they crack, I'll share them with the chickens. I'm gonna have to bring the hose over here and water on this side. I definitely need to water the garden. So, I don't know if I'll be able to do that right now. I should be. I'm gonna just grab these tomatoes. These things are loaded, man. It's like a ton of cherry tomatoes in here. So I may just cook them down with some basil. Cherry tomato, lemon basil. Let's try that and see how that works out. When the mosquitoes start getting me, then it's time to go in the house. <laughs> I know. I'll definitely have a ton of cherry tomatoes here next year because they doubled this year from last year in this one little spot. Um, I'm not too concerned about this spot because these were all volunteers. I think I may have transplanted one or two over here. But for the majority of these, these are volunteers from last year. So... This is all bonus. This is bonus tomatoes. 
And those ones are definitely bonus tomatoes. And I also have a yellow pear tomato that volunteered from last year over there. It didn't do well last year, but this year it's, it's doing pretty good and it has tomatoes on it, which I might need to go and check. Last year the, um, the chickens got them. <laughs> so, so we'll see if there's any over there next. I'm trying to get as many of these cherry tomatoes as I can before I water so they don't bust, so they don't crack open. Okay. And I've seen another really red one over here. Yeah, you got I don't know, this garden is so funny. It's, it's fickle and it's complicated this year. I don't, I don't know, just, it's funny. Some things are doing really well. Some things are not doing that well. The bug pressure has been tremendous this year. The pressure to try to keep my garden up is even more tremendous. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to, it's been really hard for me to keep this garden up this year. So I'm thinking next year I might even scale back because it, it's, it's being, it's, it's becoming too hard. Maybe next year I'll, it'll be better. <laughs> I hope so. Because it needs to be. <laughs> It needs to be better next year. Huh. A lot of faith, a lot of prayers, and a lot of work. And it, it, it'll be better next year. I know it will. I'll go ahead and get this water set up. All right, guys. I'm going to see... If I can drag this hose without killing everything that I'm working on. My little elderberries and tomatoes. I see. Oh, let's kill the tomato. Oh, no, no. Yep, got it anyway. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to let you go. Remember, be kind. It's free. And just... Try loving somebody and thank Jehovah for this day again. You know, thank you for what you have given me. And I'm, you know, a lot of people don't have as much as I do. And I'm very, I'm proud and I'm happy to be able to have it. So, let's get this together. <laughs> and let's get going. All right, guys, have a good day. Be kind. It's free. Thank you for joining me at Gigi's Garden. Bye. Good morning. Welcome back to Gigi's Garden. Thank you, Jehovah, for this beautiful day. So, I was just out here a minute ago. Fed the chickens. Both of the ducks were out, so I picked up the eggs. Would you not know? Would you know? I dropped two eggs. Two viable eggs. I'm coming back out here. My house coat doesn't have um, deep pockets. So, of course. So I'm coming back out here. So I can pick up the egg that I dropped. That I think had a chicken already, chick farm and all that already in it. I'm going to pick it up and see. No, I'm not because they didn't came and got it. They got it. They got it. They already ate it. <laughs> so it must not have had a chicken in it. Okay, because they didn't eat it. It's it's gone. It usually if it has a chicken in it, they'll look at it like <laughs> like they're crazy. So So no? Okay. So I feel better. <laughs> I swear I thought it had a chicken in it. I was oh 
Whew, I was freaking out so bad. So, okay, no, it didn't. All right, well, that's good. Okay, okay, okay. I also see where there's an eggshell out here that has been had been eaten. So I don't know if um, if it was them or anything else. But for the last couple of nights, I've been shutting the run, the gate between the run and the yard. So far, so good. No casualties for the last two days. Also, I've been getting up extra early to make sure that I can um, that I'm out here checking on the flock. I had to get that one. So the ducks made it in here, back in here before I could get the rest of the eggs. So she's sitting on probably about six eggs now. I have one black chicken, one of my black astolorps that is not coming to bed at night. So every morning when I come out, she's in the yard, which is very dangerous for her because whatever it is, I think it could be a fox, can get into that yard. And so that's a dangerous. So I don't want to lose any more of my chickens. So I'm trying to be very vigilant and very careful about how I deal with this whole situation. <laughs> um, Cody's supposed to be back to cut, to weed whack this jungle back here. So we're going to see. We're going to see if you come back to do it. Mm. Let's just take a little walk in the garden just to see what's going on i haven't been out here in a minute and i haven't really even watered or anything so oh squash bug it's dead squash bug 